I'm just standing in the middle here. So one of the tests that you did in our physical testing before was about squatting. This was very much about shoulder range, but even more importantly, it was also about the flexibility within your ankles. If you didn't have the range or the flexibility within your ankles, you weren't able to perform a squat that went all the way down and all the way back up, okay? So what I'm gonna to get Tara to do, and she's gonna stand side on so that you can see what her arms are doing, you can see what her body's doing. Hold on. She's gonna have her arms up nice and straight here, her chin up. Her feet are gonna be just a little wider apart here. A little wider, there we go. Her feet are only pointing straight and forwards. This is all gonna stay nice and tall and tight, and I want you to do it slowly, because if you do it too fast, people will miss it, how good it is, all right? Let's go, push up tall, up you go. Up again, good job. One more time, keep this as still as you can. Up you go. This is the only athlete, Tia, that was able to do this all the way down. Fantastic. So what you need to do to be able to get all the way down and all the way back up, you need to make sure in your training that you're doing lots and lots of exercises to stretch your ankles so they've got full range, and lots and lots of exercises for your shoulders as well. Why do you think it's important that we've got range in our ankles? Why do we need to have very flexible ankles for trampoline? Why? Sunday? Because what? Yeah, okay, for injury prevention to stop us from injuring our ankles. If we've got more range, it'll stop injuries. Chase? Power when? Yeah, so it's going to give us more power on the trampoline to be able to jump higher. If you jump and your ankles aren't very flexible and you land in the bed on your toes like this, you're not going to be able to have anywhere near as much power as an athlete that they can get all their weight all the way through their foot and use the trampoline then to spring them up higher. Okay, if you jump on your toes like this, you end up having to do more work. If you've got your weight coming through your heels, through all of your foot, you're going to be able to let the trampoline do more work for you. So I know that Zara, she grows a little bit more, she's going to have a really good time of life. She can keep all of this technique going as she's learning all her new skills. She's going to be able to jump really high.